All right, today we have Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 11. You already know I had to rock two of the best girls in anime on the shirt today. Hoping I get to see them more in action in this episode. Remember, if you guys want the full, uncut, unedited version, check out the Patreon links down below, as well as check out all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right into today's episode. This, ep this episode is called Seance, which I assume they're going to be doing some sort of seance. So it's going to be an army before they can even get to the top and deal with these guys holding up the barriers. I love how they were able to cut all the floors, take that shortcut because of Nui. Right? He is hiding him specifically on his body, so we got to go in. I love how Yuji has this like fucking trap wire from Naruto now. Anytime I see that shit in any shonen, I'm all down for it. Ooh, release it. So this is her grandson. We got Granny and Grandson versus Eno. Yes, you do. And I know you love those achievements, especially when Nanami's the one that gives them to you. Yes, sir. Megumi and Yuji versus Weird Man. Then we got Eno versus Granny and Grandson. Ooh, some Korean barbecue? What is his technique specifically? He could easily become semi first. Respectable. I've always liked Eno from the brief moments we've seen him throughout Zero and Season 1, you know? Such a great mentality to have, you know? He's a great person to follow. I like it. I would also be thinking the same. Auspicious Beast Summon? Is this why it's called Seance? Kaiji Auspicious Beast? What the fuck is this? Seance technique, Auspicious Beast Summon. Oh, of the four auspicious beasts. So there's only four of them. He has to cover his face. He can become a spiritual medium. Reiki. Okay, Mr. Do It the Right Way. I love to see it. Come on, Eno. With the water slide and Reiki. I like how he's using the water for offensive and defensiveness. Using it to help him be mobile and slide, but also for defense. Yuji's giving him the quick one-twos, but he's just tanking it like it's nothing. Did he tank that too? But they're really giving him the JJK jumping, and he, they're beating his ass, but nothing is happening to him. What is going on? Makes it worth killing you. Such promising futures. That's what I'm saying. Demon Dog, Black's Claws. They're not scratching this guy. Maybe it's Granny's powers? Is that why Grandson is, particu is particularly protecting her? Ooh. Okay, you know with the fluid movement? That's what I'm saying. I think she's very pivotal to what's going on here. I love how he's just slipping and sliding around. We're all set now. Oh no. What is that that he's holding? Is that another like death painting? Obscure painting? Whoa, what? Toji Zenin? Can they also be a spiritual medium and like put Toji's spirit in him? What does that mean? He's half Toji, half what's his name? Whatever. I am so confused. I need answers. 1989, December 7th. Is this the day Gojo was born or when he was a youngin? 1989, December 7th. 20 days before my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. 
Who? You'll turn out just like your mother. Who are we watching? Who is this? Onoka? What the hell? I need a corpse. Are these faces of people? What in the... What in the chainsaw massacre shit are we... Are we just putting different consciousness in different bodies, heads? This. What are the fuck are we doing? He's cutting the faces off people. He's like Kyburn from Game of Thrones. He just does live experiments to understand how people work in certain situations. So they are just a family of ser So they're Texas Chainsaw Sorcerer users. What the fuck? So people have been after Gojo for as long as he's been on this earth. In terms of black market bounties, all this, that, and the third. Why are they so intimidated by a young Gojo just walking down the street? They're shaking in their boots. You can notice them behind them instantly. Toji was the only one that can't be noticed behind people besides Gojo. And he still noticed Toji. So it's like, is this just to, to put into perspective? I'm trying to put this into perspective for myself. The, this is old guy fighting uh, Megumi and Yuji. And the old woman is obviously Granny. So maybe Granny, Grandpa, you know, type situation. But... Is that why they're so eager to join in this battle right now, now that Gojo's been sealed? Because as long as they did everything their way, the right way, they could be... F the curse users were all... The sorcerers were all worried about the curse spirits. They ain't worried about us. We'll cut people's faces off. We're chilling. But now that Gojo's here, it's, uh, uh, it's a different ball. It's like All Might, literally. But now that he's sealed, we're back. So uh, was this just retroactively showing us why they're so hyped that he's gone? 100%. The balance of the world changed when Gojo was born. He's not lying. And it's going to change again now that he's sealed. We were free. It completely changed. And in our later years, that freedom was stolen from us, and now it's back. Now they have a personal vengeance and motivation invested into this fight. I'll never retire. These guys, I can't look at them the same. These guys are some fucking weirdos cutting faces off people. Kill them. Megumi Yuji, kill these fucks. Hundred percent, like iron skin. What is it? Image nullification. There has to be a limit to that if that's the case. Ooh, bunnies, rabbits, fleeing hares. Anytime we can see a shikigami, I love it. And I've never seen his rabbit one. Fleeing hares. Turns an army of smaller hairs into a big hair. Just purely for distraction. Have you now? He knows sweating and struggling over here. I mean... He... The problem is he's now half one of the strongest motherfuckers. We, you now... He's full him! Oh my god! That's Toji! He's back! He took the map. You know, I swear to god if Eno dies... I've only known him for a few episodes, but I like him so much. Do not do this to my boy. But no, he's figured out their ability. He's coming in with an elephant. We haven't seen elephants in season one. Oh my god, he can carry Max Elephant from falling that high? I'm still waiting to see a black flash this season. Oh, ooh. that was so clean. Them went inverse. Oh, that's hella cool. That's actually really creative. I wonder if Megumi did figure that out, though. I see a lot of blood. I see a lot of cursed energy on the screen. Oh, and they hit him with the Gamma Tongue. Oh my god. And then we'll pummel him. The Gamma Tongue. That was super creative. That was super smart. Shout out Megumi. I love this song when they play it. I always think of Hanami and Toto. Ooh. He 
didn't even hit him. Oh. Oh. I like that, Yuji. I like that. It's a little... Heck yeah. Wait. We don't even get to see what happened with Eno? Oh. Well, that was an absolutely fire episode. Um, it's exactly what I was expecting, but with that much time and dedication given towards Granny, Grandson, and the guy that Yuji and Megumi just beat up, like we're gonna still have full episodes with Choso, Jogo, Mahito, the Water Spirits, Ghetto, uh, who has fucking Ghetto now, or Pseudo Ghetto, whatever you wanna call him. Like, there's still, this is episode 11, we still have what? 13 more episodes left before the season's over with and the Shibuya arc's done. So it's like, I'm glad we're getting isolated team fights and moments where it doesn't feel cut and split up. Like, uh, for example, the tuning exams arc when uh, during the end of that, if you know, you know, like they would sh they would show the third Hokage in his fight for a couple minutes and then cut to another fight for a couple. Uh, I much prefer this style of fights where it's an entirety one episode isolated on this story, but still with enough confidence and breathing room in the rest of the season that you know this isn't going to be an isolated isolated thing we're still totally going to see the girls still totally going to see go not gojo you guys know what i'm trying to say that um thoroughly enjoying this fighting style though i loved i was going to say i loved you know just helping the boys saying you guys go handle this i got this i'll deal with it quick come help you but oh my lord granny i don't even know how that's possible what was in that tube was it like a, a bone like a finger bone a fingernail was able to use herself as a medium to do a seance and transform grandson into toji so i i don't think it's a permanent thing because that would be broken in, in jjk if you could permanently transform in, into someone into someone that was dead but is it just like a temporary thing is there a time limit i need to know the conditions obviously you need to set it up with a lot of cursed energy that's why he was defending her and she needed to build it up also you need something from the person who's dead so also can you guys explain to me um, cause obviously during the flashback, we saw the granny and grandpa and the things they were doing back in the heinous days of the late eighties and early nineties. Can you guys explain to me real quick? I would thoroughly love it. What the fuck they were doing. So what was going on with granny and the dad who she stabbed in the back of the neck, uh, with her daughter and mother, that was just horribly dark. She said she needed a corpse to, were they just like running experiments or something or, and then the grandpa who was had a bunch of somehow still a lot where they were either buried in the ground with their heads just showing or i assume they were purely decapitated but somehow they were still alive and then he was fucking ripping their face like bro if you guys could genuinely tell me what was going on i'd appreciate it great episode i think we're going to continue going i think we have to the one thing i want to see most if Eno died i need vengeance for Eno and i need vengeance for ichiji i need hand sword guy to get murdered and i need granny grandson to get fucking bopped those are my two right now i have to have happen I'm trying to think of anything else get to or get a uh, ghetto can wait a little bit he's good yeah it has to be those two okay um no questions from the q a section if you guys ever want to ask me something check out that discord q a other than that check out that patreon for early access full length i appreciate y'all immensely uh have a great day dapper squad i'll check you in for the next videos peace out y'all <laughs>